So let's see what we have in this question on our geometry of straight lines. You are given to calculate the size of angle P, which is the first question. Uh, we are given angle P. Remember, I said as long you are working with a straight line, the angles on a straight line, they add up to 180 de uh, degrees. So what you need to do is to form an equation using these angles on a straight line. That means 2P minus 55 degrees, this angle that we are seeing, and this angle of 3P, and also the angle of 70 degrees is supposed to be 180 degrees. These are angles on a straight line. You have formed an equation, then you must solve that equation. So considering the part of uh, y, uh, the part of p in this case, these are like terms, the 3p, uh, the 2p and the 3p there, these are like terms. Also considering the constants, the angles, these are like terms that you are going to collect and simplify. All right, so let's add 2p plus uh, 3p, that is going to give us 5p. Then in terms of the angles, we have got uh, minus 55, Plus a 70 degrees, you are adding a 70, simply uh, 70 minus uh, 55, which is going to be 15 degrees. This is simply 70 minus 55, which is going to give us uh, 15 degrees. And that is equal to 180 degrees on the right-hand side. So as you know that once you've got an angle that is, because you can see we do not have P in this case, you need to solve for P. So you can get rid of this, take it to the other side of the equation. It becomes a negative since it was a plus. The moment it jumps the equal sign, changes the sign. So meaning to say, in this case, our 5P is going to be equal to 180 degrees. It was a plus, this 15. So it will be minus 15 on the other side of the equation, on the other side there. So meaning to say, uh, 5P is going to be uh, the difference that we have uh, which is 165 degrees. If you subtract these two, we're going to obtain 165 divided by five. Remember the product for a multiplication, divide by the inverse. So P multiply by the inverse, which is simply divide by a five. So you're going to divide by five, both sides of the equation. And that was going to give you uh, 33 degrees. So that is the value of P. Wherever there's a P there, if you substitute at 33, you must obtain 180 degrees on this whole straight line that you are given. Then B, J, K, R, all right? There is J to K to R, which is this angle here, J to K to R. The angle formed, there's an angle there that is formed. That angle is the one that we are supposed to calculate, which is given in this case as 2P minus 55 degrees. We have got the value of P. So remember, 2P means two times. We're going to multiply two times the P that we calculated, which is 33 degrees. Then whatever that you obtain, you subtract uh, 55. So that's two times 33, which was going to give us 66 degrees minus uh, 55 degrees. So there you need uh, the difference between these two, which was going to give us uh, 11 degrees. So in this case, this angle was going to be equal to 11 degrees. So you can substitute that angle even on this 3P that you are given. You are given that 3P, 3, the, the P there is 33. So you can just substitute there 3 times 33, then whatever that you're going to obtain. When you add, it's supposed to be equal to 180 degrees. But in this case, it was just to calculate angle JKR. So that's it. Uh, from Maison African Motives till we meet again.